Hello, beautiful humans. I'm Jen Madrone, and today I'm going to answer another question that came up in the group when I asked for suggestions. And this question was about why it's often so um, painful and uncomfortable in the beginning of the awakening process. And yes, you know, after the initial, if we had an initial fairly blissful, amazing opening, awakening experience, after that initial experience has worn off and the real work kicks in, it can, it can be very painful and very challenging. And we can really start to feel like maybe the universe abandoned us. Like that support that we felt was just a trick and it's not there anymore. Um, these challenging moments can also come up in the process at different times. It doesn't always have to be in towards the beginning of the process. It can be when we hit um, something new and deep that needs to be healed in us. Um, and it can also be when another chunk of the ego is coming off. And so when we have those egoic death experiences, that are really uncomfortable um, and you know something triggers uh you know it's often just a small chunk of ego but it feels so painful and so challenging and can really just kind of feel like it's knocking us down for a bit so there's a lot of places in the process where um the this pain and these challenges can come up but you know in the beginning when we step into this process and we agree to it whether we do that consciously or unconsciously you know the universe starts showing us all of the places in our life where we need to heal where we need to release our attachment where we need to move to a higher vibration and often this is painful for us to see it's painful for us to recognize the ways that we we've hurt ourselves and also to revisit and find the places where we have stored pain in our body and trauma in our body throughout our life and so really that pain and those challenges in the beginning um, often come from our resistance because we don't want to have to look at these things because it's not fun. And so our resistance and, you know, our resistance and our fear really causes a lot of the pain. You know, if we were to witness the things that come up for us that are challenging and able to witness and release them, the pain would just be fleeting. But because we have a resistance to the process, which is completely normal, absolutely normal, um, because this is, you know, something new for us, that resistance causes even more pain and suffering for us. And so it's when we can release that resistance and surrender to the process that that pain often subsides or at least decreases quite a bit. However, that's much easier said than done. Surrender is a beautiful, amazing concept, um, but when it comes to actually doing it, there's a tremendous amount of fear that can keep us from, from really moving into that surrender, um, into that deeper place of trusting that this process is exactly what we need to heal ourselves and to become more present and to raise our vibration so that we can be those people, those humans, those amazing beings that we came here to be. And so these challenges come up to show us where we still need to do the work where we still need to surrender, where we still need to release our attachments to old beliefs, to um, pieces of our identity, to um, different things that aren't serving us anymore. And so that pain in a sense is, it's like a, it's an arrow. I would say it's a gift, although it doesn't usually feel like a gift, but once we've moved through it and we've, really learned from it and obtained that jewel of whatever it has to teach us, then, then we can see it as a gift. Until then, it's an arrow. It's a giant arrow that shows us 
where we need to do the work in ourselves and where we need to really let go of some old shit. So when that pain comes up, whether it's in the beginning of the process of transformation or somewhere in the middle, you know, or after a chunk of that ego has come off, like I was talking about, you know, when it comes up, being really present with it and acknowledging that it is there for a reason and it is it is there to teach us something. It's one of our, our greatest teachers. And so when we can accept that it's there for a reason and we can really be present with that pain, then, you know, we can move through it. You know, but often it's the mind that keeps us from that acceptance and keeps us from that surrender. It's the mind that says, you know, the, the universe is just trying to knock me down, you know, and nothing's working out. And, you know, I really thought that I was on this beautiful path of growth and I just, I just feel like I'm getting the crap beat out of me right now. And, and that's the mind, that's the ego that's trying to maintain control. And so if we can move past those thoughts and into the heart and really experience what we're feeling in the moment, the challenges that we're given, then we will we'll then be able to see what the gift is and the lesson is from the experience. So, you know, all of these challenges are really important parts of the process. They move us to the next level of our transformation. And so being present with them is essential. Sometimes getting help, moving through them is essential as well. So if you want that assistance, moving through a, a particular spot in the process of transformation or a particular challenge, then please reach out to me and we can talk and I'll share with you the work that I do with my other clients and we'll see if it's a good fit for you. Until then, just be really present with your process. If you have any questions, you can leave them here in the comment section and I will see you all in the Facebook group. Sending you all so much love and have a great day.